some places change things. Some days, some people, they can put a mark on you that won't ever wash off. The good ones and the bad ones. Learn that more than one way. Before all this, life was simple. I was an alley kid. If I needed something and you didn't, I made it mine. An empty bed, a clean shirt, a bike here or a truck there. Might seem awful, but I never felt bad. Not usually. But like I said, some places change things. this river looking for my father. Don't know why. Maybe I was hoping to take something from him. I was so young when he moved on. I only remember his boots. We're gonna pray hard until we tag him down, down. We're gonna pray hard until we tag him down, down. We've been feeding your kingdom all over this land. Satan, your kingdom must come down. Take hand Can I help you? I want to take a ride in my rack? Uh, no thanks. We have our own. Really? Well, let's have mine down there. I'll let you keep the cooler. I got a devil inside! Make up a man, he's on the radio, into his own sound system! Screaming instruction, self-destruction! Okay. Real bad, bad, real, real bad feeling! Yeah.
fish are on this boat. Intestine. Intestine. No farm salmon. Farm salmon? We talking about drugs. You can feel like Christmas can fit. Idiot. There's a lot of folks out there reaching for the moon. Trying to find the happiness we can find. All right, boys, one rare burger, grilled onions and mushrooms, one medium cheddar bacon, fries all around. You good on drinks? Hey, where's Shelby? I'm Sayla. This is Shelby's dude. Oh. There's only the best waitress in town. every single day. I'm not staying with you so I can live off your tips. Well, I wish you didn't have to work at all. I don't like that. You want to go fishing? <laughs> we'll play cards tonight. Maybe we can go fishing tomorrow. I love you, babes. I'll give you a moment with the menu. I'm Diz. I'm ready now. I'm Sailor. Perfect. stole a break from the reservation and threw a party under the bridge. What did you do? I would have handled it, Clyde. Well, I can take you to him if you like. But tomorrow morning, his pieces will pass through the turbines in the dam. Sturgeon need to eat. I'll bet you he's going to give some of them a good old-fashioned buzz. Ooh. You're gonna want more. Don't you threaten me, Clyde. I don't threaten. I am. You shouldn't have served him. 
You're gonna have to pay for that now. He's fine, he's just hungry. Whatever, your problem. The only thing dumber than a guy is a girl. That's just rude. your whole life. Great. What, a, a candlestick and some weird little shepherd girl? She reminded me of you. <sighs> Pay the girl. Oh my god. I vouched for you. You know, I said you looked nice. Son, hold up. I'm cooking steaks on the grill tonight. I have some work that needs done around the house. Come to dinner and we'll talk about it I don't it need a sermon, old man. Well, that's a matter of opinion. The address is on there. Around about 6.30 or 7, it'll be fine. Well, you can keep the money. I know I can keep it. I took it, didn't I? It's mine. Let's call it a gift. Let's not. Punk. No. It's my mistake. I'll pay for it. Sorry, no. Yo! Seriously, dude? Cash. Cash works. Yeah, we're fine here. Oh, 150 for the guitar, 40 for the vest, 20 for the helmet, 210.
Hey, Mom. I got your message. I love you, too. I'll call you soon. Bams is good. Uh, he misses Grandma a ton. Doesn't feel real here without her. Hug Dad for me. And Chris, too. Talk soon. seriously think he's coming. Oh, he's coming. I'd be mad if I thought you were right. I knew a little girl who used to come to my office and steal quarters <laughs> to buy candy with. Pamps, that is totally different. I was eight. You were old enough to know, and you were old enough to lie, and you are old enough to feel sick about it after it did bother me. I felt horrible. I mean, the way Grandma looked at me. Yeah, but Grandma looked at everybody that way sometimes. Especially me. I remember you made me put the quarters back. And then you gave me $10 and took me to the water park. <laughs> well, it all worked out to the good. Imagine I didn't catch you. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by, there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Try to sample. Lovely stuff. Almost makes dealing with you worth it. Where's the rest? Money.
Yeah, it's good. Son of a gun. You cook this? It doesn't matter who cooked it. It's enough to keep Portland happy for a weekend. And then it will need more, and I will have more. Right, but we have a deal. Strictly Portland. None of this comes back up the river. Not one gram. Come on, Haas. Junk finds junkies wherever they are. No, we had a deal. These drugs will never be in this town. That's the deal. If, as you say, junk finds junkies, even here, then, well... I guess I'm gonna have to cut you up in little tiny pieces and sprinkle you from the sky. Hey! Hey! Go! You can have the car. You're gonna take it regardless. You don't mean that. It's a gift. You're just saying that so I'll leave it and go. I paid this time for the food and the car. I don't do gifts. You don't do gifts? Here's one, and another. You take those heartbeats for yourself, 
You leave enough money for your two eyes, those hands? Brother, if you're paying, you owe more than you could imagine. I've already paid more than you can imagine. You think stealing gives you control? Well, gratitude gives you freedom. The car is not for sale, and neither is my food, but you can have it. Thanks for the steak. Money's on the table. Did he just take your car? I told you he would come. What can you tell me about this thief? Based on the calls that came into the station, I'd say he's on some kind of a spree. He's not local. Last night I went through the high school rosters in the last couple of years. There was nothing. If he's here, I'll find him. If? If? Thieves run! They always run! He's a drifter with a million dollars in the bag! He's on a plane! Or a boat! Or a bus! Or he hitched a ride and this perched up in some cabin and a long haul rig on his way to Mexico. This kid is gone! Trust me! Clyde. If I thought this kid was gone, then I'd be gone too. Long gone. I put a bullet in that psychotic head of yours because I know that the Sinaloa cartel would come and get me if I didn't. But I'm not. I'm here, and you're here, and you're breathing, and I will find this kid. You can find him. I'm gonna find him. Because a kid like this can't lay low. He needs to bang drums and raise flags. He's gonna make a mistake. That's why I'll catch him. And when I do, and you can skin them. the store on my way home. Sorry, you have to walk. That is not your fault at all. I'm the one who gave him the car, and I meant it. Maybe I'll come down for lunch. Don't. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Makes anything okay? Stay here, take him wherever he wants to go. <laughs> I stay here all month. You better believe it. Have mercy. Woo! Oh! Thank you. A limo? Just give back his car, you moron. OK. I'll buy a new one. I did pay for it, but he can keep the money. <laughs> You're unbelievable. Are you wearing cologne? It's just a sample I got from a place with new clothes. Bought new clothes. I didn't know if it'd be stupid. Well, it is. You smell like my best friend's creepy uncle. What is your goal here? What are you hoping to accomplish? Here? 
Yes. Stalking me to work after stealing my granddad's car? I did leave money. God, you're unbelievable. Shut up. I should call the cops on you and have you arrested. But then Bams would say that he gave you the car and everything's fine because he's just as crazy as you are. Did you rob a bank? A bank? Yes, a bank. A place where people have money. Yesterday you were this punk thief kid and now all of a sudden you have all this money. So, did you rob a bank? No, I just... I want you to like me. You, my friend, have the world's shortest memory. Yesterday is still pretty vivid for me. Don't follow me! I have no problem running into the street and telling some redneck to get out his gun and shoot you! Walk. Well, happy birthday, or whatever it is. But if you don't mind, can you tell your boyfriends to stop? It's a boy? I bought all the balloons they had. And no more flowers. It's starting to look like a funeral home in there. How's it going today? Are you shopping for a girlfriend? Or your mother, perhaps? Just a girl. That one. <laughs> that is going to be pretty pricey for just a girl. I, uh, but I probably have some little things over here that, that would be more on your budget. And what is my budget? I'm just trying to be helpful. Aren't you supposed to want as much as my money as you can get? All I want is a happy customer. Then, that one. That is a very valuable estate piece that we're planning on moving through a Seattle auction house. I'm sure I have some other things over here that are more for. And how will we be paying for this? With money. Or I could just smash the glass and run. Money will be fine. With you. you, Sayla. Your boyfriend's crazy. In a good way. I can show you the receipt. 
You don't understand anything. You can't have me. I mean, maybe if I was desperate for male attention, but I'm not that girl. Sorry. And you can't buy me either, because I'm not a whore. That's not what I meant. I just, I'm just trying to do something right. Swing and a miss. Sorry. Great taste, though. Wait. How do you make someone forgive you? You don't. You can't. You can ask. It's a gift, kind of like the right girl. Can I drive you home after? I'm not getting in a car with you. Well, can I walk you then? You can carry the groceries and come over and apologize to Marty and return the car. I want to be different. Than you were yesterday or right now. You're saying this kid paid all in hundreds? Yeah, he overpaid by $2,000. But I've saved the bills. If you, if you want to see them, I've saved them. Well, listen, if you have a clear shot of him from one of your security cameras, I'd really appreciate if you texted to this number. No, we always follow up. Well, thank you for calling it in. You got a problem? Not in my world. How about yours? Turn them all over there? Yeah. Just a sec. The way I hear it, hearing didn't go so well. Bad news is coming down. But here you are, ordering fingerprints on a pink bicycle, interviewing a kid who spilled his drink, I'm rushing down here over a hundred bucks. Feels kind of personal, so. What's really going on? You dancing on the dark side again? If I lose my badge, would you rather it was for something I did a month ago or something I do to you right here and right now? Because either way, I don't give a damn. I got that shot pulled up for you in the back. Great. You're listening to Oxley's Gospel Power Hour right here on Inland Public Radio. Right now, it's 105 degrees in the valley, 87 tonight. Here's Amen Again by the Mountain Angel Band, one of those tunes from back when gospel was gospel and country was still country. Walking down the road, got my face. Be a little more specific. Okay. I'll knock those teeth out of your head. Okay, I'll give me the Where's the kids that left all this stuff? I hope I'm not taking it around. Treat what do you treat what wrong? He went to get some burgers or something. He's getting some burgers? Yeah. He gave her a huge tip. You? Fourth or sixth or something? I don't know. Do a little bit. Fourth and a half. Fourth and a half, okay. <laughs> Are you the Reaper? Yeah, I'm the Reaper.
Hey. What's up? That guy, do not let him in, okay? Don't let him in. See a kid go in there? Maybe. Oops. You have a key? I have a key. I thought it was someone else. Did he touch you inappropriately? Yeah. I heard really this conversation. It was Honey, a mistake, what lady. What did he do to you? He touched hey, me. Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to sue your ass. You get back here. You pervert. Get out of here, Brantley. Are you okay, Bubby? Someone just shot up a car. No driver, no shooter. Stolen. Wow. Who's it registered to? Text me that address, will you? How long are you going to sit out here? That kid told me to sit out here all day and take you wherever you wanted to go. All right. Okay, boss. Where are we going? I need to have a chat with my wife. Hey, what up? 
Liz, I've been screwing up. I know you don't like that word, but it's true. That boy, I've been trying, but you always had the better touch. Just another boy that needs a father. Time for more questions. And no lying. I don't lie. There's your first one. I don't. Okay, whatever. So, you grew up in Portland. You came into this town on the river. What's your real name? Without Diz is on your birth certificate. My name is what I say it is. That's cocky. My mom tried to kill me every way she knew how before I was born. And then she left me in an alley. So, I don't really care what she called me. I do. You're not gonna tell me? Did you ever meet your dad? Every once in a while, I want to find him. Then I do something stupid, like float into this town. Last time I saw my mom, she said he was here. That was years ago. And if I did find him, I'd probably kill him. So, probably best I don't. So if you have a kid, is he gonna think the same thing about you? What's that supposed to mean? It's just a question. I mean, are you just going to be some idea he doesn't know if he wants to meet you or kill you? Undertaker, Undertaker, won't you please drive that lady's phone? Do you like me? Yeah, I, I like you. I mean, not romantically. I mean, I just met you, and you're not exactly in a stable situation. What would make you like me romantically? What would I have to do? How long would it take? <laughs> Why, do you have somewhere to be? I don't know. Maybe never. It's not a fair question. It is a fair question. Are you attracted to me? No lying. Why are you just being an ass? You know, I, I can like something. I can even be attracted to it. That doesn't mean I have to go take it off the shelf and shove it in my pocket. I have this thing called impulse control. If I see something I know it's not good for me, then I don't touch it. I mean, can you understand that? I find a guy that I can give my days, my weeks, and my years to, and he can give that right back, then yeah, I'll have that conversation with him. Maybe someday you could be a guy like that, but... <laughs> Girls betting on guys changing is like jumping off a bridge and betting against gravity. Perfect. So now you're going on strike because I don't love you? 
I have most of one million dollars hidden in a bag. And if I stay in this town, I will get killed. I have to leave. And I want you to come with me. And I'm gonna kiss you. And then we'll go. Where I go. Whoa. I, d I don't even understand any of this. I wish I knew what to do. Okay, I would give all of me to you if I just knew how. Let's burn it down. We can't leave it to Rick. My expressions find shelter. Can't hide it from you. You always borrow the flowers from the neighbor's lawn. Now I'm ready for this, but I was born for you. And which thief friend would that be? Who are you? Bams isn't here, sweetheart. Oh, and I made tea. I hope you don't mind. Why don't you put those bags down? I will talk about me. I'm not so sure I want to. Become sure. If you happen to be missing most of a million dollars, I... I want you to know I have nothing to do with that. Neither does my granddad. Wow. That had to be the fastest squeal on record. You must really dislike this kid. It's not that. Doesn't matter. How little you care for him is irrelevant. How much he cares for you, now that is the question. What would he be willing to sacrifice to keep you from being seriously and permanently harmed? And you must be Bamps. Welcome. Come in. Glad you could join us. Look here, guys. In order to get my money back, we're going to have to work together as a team. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. Go, 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 Shouldn't have gone without me. It was fun. But part of you thought taking a taxi was a good idea. And now there's a record of you being there. <laughs> you some kind of cop or something? He is. Well, as long as somebody is, I don't want to get a ticket. Right here, right here. Those men 
take something from you? That driver is a dirty cop, Sal Morgan. And then today, he touches my son inappropriately in an arcade. What about the other guy? I don't know who he is. His name's Clyde. He flies a yellow plane. Crazy Clyde Catskill? Always a suspect, never a convict. Like a felony bridesmaid. Can I borrow your phone? Uh, yeah. In the morning, I need you to report this stolen. Make the cops track it, OK? Uh, excuse me. Marty? Marty? Marty, wake up. Sailor's in trouble. Hello? Mr. Dizzy, so glad to speak with you. I left you a note, but I wasn't sure if you will be returning. A note? Who is this? This is the man you robbed. The man with the beautiful girl tied up in his shop. Would you like to have her back? Simple. Follow the instructions, and you will have her. Maybe a little damage, but likely a life. Now, hold the bag above your head so I can see it. And my signal, hang it on the tree. One minute late, they die. If the bag is too light, they die. If you try to cheat in any way, they die. And then you... Why are you, are you calling, are you, are you downstairs? No, uh, Bobby, it's not your mom, but I am a friend of hers and I need your help. Do you think you could help me out, Bobby? My name is Philip and I should probably ask my mom. She doesn't really let me do no, anything. No, no, but... can't do that. You cannot ask your mother about this. This is like a mission and it would scare her. But if you do do it, I know she would be crazy proud of you. She might even start calling you Philip. Do you have a car? A couple stops, then drive. I did. I have clarinet practice. No, Bobby has clarinet practice. I'm talking to Phil. What does that even mean? I am Philip. Okay, here. Just hold on to this. What is it? Don't open. Ever. Okay. What? Just get the car. I'll call you. I can't just steal my mother's car. Are you kidding? No, don't think of it as stealing. Late night borrow. Borrow? Yeah, I'll borrow our car. But the, the one I don't Just wanna... do it, okay? I'll call you.
Oh, no, nah, man. You just straight stealing. I'm totally not comfortable with this. This, this, me and you, has happening right then now? Then lean. I'll buy the limo. How much? The white lightning? Oh, I'll take you wherever you want to go. You know what? I left plenty of money, if that's what you're wanting. I bet you did. I, I think, I'm glad they got their money. Right, so, uh, who we gonna rob next? Morningstar Aviation. And that would be, uh, where? I don't know. Couldn't find it online. Clyde Catskill, owner-operator. I'm gonna need an address to... It's not... You're joking, right? Or not. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. We, uh... We, we just gonna rob a few people, you know? Straight gangster, you know? Uh... Uh, no, that one's a cat. It's going to be a But nah, nah, we hard, though. Ebony and I, we, we gonna do this thing. We, uh... Ooh, yeah, boy, y'all better watch out. We gangsta up in this joint. We going in hard. Ooh, Sunshine. Talk to me, Marty. I'd like to help you if I can. Liar. Where is my granddaughter? Well, she's elsewhere. Didn't want you to see what might happen to her. So, how'd this go down? That kid rob you too? Everything he took, I gave him. You're playing with fire, son. I'm playing with fire? Well, how's that, Marty? Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You don't want to taste the wrath when he comes around. <laughs> Hallelujah! I got me a religious man here. I think it's a little late for me, Marty. No, it isn't. You really think you're that important, huh? God himself really cares about what happens to you. That he even knows you exist. Son, he's the only one big enough to get so small. What you do to us, you do to him. Are you saying that I can actually hurt Jesus Christ himself? And you believe that? Wow. Now, that's the best news I've heard in months. Pass that on to the man. I got nothing against you, Marty. But with him, it's personal. You're choosing the wrong side, son. I know. Take mine with cream and sugar. Grandpa's crazy. How's this one? Edible. You smell her hair? No, I'll pass. So will you. No more creep show. Hey, wheels up. You need to be in here if you want to see this kid. He's even worse when you get to know him. So, what do you have to say this morning? Let's see if you can top your grandpa. You're gonna die. <laughs> of 
prophecy. Guaranteed. <laughs> Preach. Then what? Should we read Dante? Outside? Are you serious? And Philip, thank you. Are you okay, son? Until he talks, then he can all die together. You shouldn't be here. You didn't do anything. I've done plenty. Lord, pour out your grace on Salem. Gather She's your safe. angels around. She's free. 
Now I'm ready. No. You are not dying with me. <sighs> Someone. Ah, the cops. Help! <sighs> not here. Not with me. Ugh, with your family in your house. Here's for now. You are my family. <sighs> I've been given to you and you to me. Here's an old man for you to die with. And like the Lord, I've been given a thief. I bend your damn neck. Oh. <sighs> Can you hear the singing? No, the girl is gone. The girl will come, and it is over. No, not him. He didn't do anything. Just let him go. I deserve this. I deserve it. I deserve it. You want the money? I don't care about the money. You can have it. Just let him go. Too late, kid. Today you got a good man killed. Be my brother. For this I was born to testify the truth. What is truth? It's not my fault. I'm innocent of this. Get the bodies into your car, quickly. And you should find the girl. She must be killed as well. Yeah. An ID. You're kidding. That doesn't make any sense. No, I never had a son. Of course I'm sure. Portland. What year was he born?
we can get to the river before the sun's down? We can try. I came down this river looking for my father. What I found? Well, I didn't find anything. I'm the one who got found. Lost myself first. See that water? That sun? Feel that wind? Smell that distant rain? It's all gift the whole world and you in it. Those beats thumping in your chest. I know you didn't pay for those. I never paid for mine. Your two eyes, those hands. Here's what I know. There's nothing you can do to deserve this world, this life. So just bend your damn neck and receive it with some gratitude. An old man told me that gratitude would give me freedom. Don't know exactly how that works, but I know I'm grateful. And I know I'm free.